cathode ray oscilloscope cathode ray oscilloscope was first invented by french physicist andre blondel who built and presented the first electromechanical oscilloscope in the year 1893 this device was able to register values of electrical quantities such as alternating current intensity a big step in the development of oscilloscopes was made in 1897 when a german physicist carl ferdinand baron invented a cathode ray tube crt oscilloscope kanukodaniki mundu tayar chesina fully automatic hospitaler ondograph a electromechanical oscillograph idi invented by andre blondel oscilloscope is one of the most important and irreplaceable devices for analyzing electrical signals electrical signals analyze cheyadaniki oscilloscope tarvatane ye equipment aina it is impossible to imagine a workshop without an oscilloscope an oscilloscope allows you to observe a signal measure it record it or check the change in its amplitude over a period of time modern oscilloscopes are excellent devices for testing fixing and removing malfunctions just like the rest of measuring equipment oscilloscope development started to increase around the world after the second world war this was especially noticeable in europe and the in the us 1946 all technologically advanced countries started to produce these devices in the 1950s which in turn made oscilloscope a universal measurement tool their accuracy and bandwidth was increasing first with the development of industrial analog models and then with the invention of digital oscilloscopes in 1985 invented in 1985 digital storage oscilloscopes can store the data automatically and manually the 1985 became one of the key points in the history of oscilloscope development just like any other measuring equipment oscilloscopes can be divided into two categories one is analog another one is digital oscilloscopes both types have positives and negative sides as well as unique characteristics therefore let us take a look at each type more closely oscilloscopes basically rendu vidalaga divide chestaru classification okati vachi analog and another one is digital analog oscilloscopes may be still found in some workshops as some people still find the it difficult to move an as of a digital signal measurement however these cases are quite rare labs lo chala varaku ippadiki analog oscilloscopes vaadi signal measure chestunnaru endukante basics analog oscilloscopes dwarane telustadi digital storage oscilloscope dwara manaku antaga effective ga teliyadu endukante digital automatically they will convert the signal and they will display what are the parameters voltage current frequency phase all will be directly they will display but if you take analog anni mana measure chestam kabatti mana easy ga understand ayyadaniki analog instrument use avutundi digital oscilloscopes can be divided into two categories one is digital storage oscilloscopes dso uses a real time sampling technology digital storage oscilloscope dsos digital stroboscopic oscilloscopes DSAO uses sampling in equivalent time scale and third category is digital phosphor oscilloscopes DPO uses the latest technological developments in signal sampling and processing digital storage oscilloscopes are appeared thanks to technological advancement of hybrid analog to digital converters ADC which are responsible for swift and accurate digitizing of high frequency signals developments in the other fields have also played an important role in the evolution of dso's compact display modules with low energy consumption and recording devices that have to 
record data as quickly as the equipment performs sampling. Basically, DSOs uses analog to digital converters to display signal data in the digital format. Stroboscopic oscilloscopes uses ordered or unordered sampling of instantaneous values of the signal and temporarily transforms it in order to display the waveform. Working of principle of this type of oscilloscopes is based on stroboscopic effect. For DSAOs measures the instantaneous values of repeated signals using short stroboscopic impulses. Because of this, these oscilloscopes have wide bandwidth and high sensitivity. Coming to third category that is digital POSPER oscilloscopes are the most developed and highly technological type of oscilloscopes available today. DPOs can be compared to analog oscilloscopes as they display a signal in three dimensions time amplitude and distribution of amplitude over time that is intensity. These oscilloscopes perform high density sampling and have an ability to capture data based on the intensity of signal. DPOs displays make it easy to distinguish the main form waveform 